you know, Jizzle started Chopper City Records and he was pushing our king. Mm. And I remember that Blues Brothers, y'all remember that Blues Brothers disc they dropped? Yeah. You heard me? They put me on that round here. That was the first song I ever did with Jizzle. You know, man, I came at Boo song. That was the first one I did with BG. Jizzle was on the road, you know, cash money rough or out of torn and all that there. And that Kizzle was standing next door to me, so that was like my little brother. While Jizzle was gone, you know, I told him how to do a few things, you know, we did a few things and we came up like that there. So, you know, Jizzle was big broke, like out the gate on some shit. So it was like a family thing, like a, just how y'all yeah, was brought up? Real family thing, yeah. Like his mom and sent, that's my auntie, man. What's up, son? You did. Carol. Zenny. So when the music started getting involved with it? Uh, when he left Cash Money. When he left Cash Money, cause just always be through our hood, you know, running in my hood. You know what I'm saying? Being a few houses and shit, you know, he come through the hood, they be like, there you go, there you go. You dig? So, you know, I was real familiar with seeing him, but when he left Cash Money, you know, Hakeem, his little brother was rapping his ass so, out. You dig? That's who actually pulled me in this shit, cause I was doing my own thing, like I was hustling, playing ball, doing what I was doing. Like, you know, I was known on my side, you feel me? But Hakeem made me rap, that rap shit with him, you know, and I was good. So, you know, my name actually run, rung down there by the squad in the beginning, you feel me? I remember rapping for Lil Wayne, like, I could say about 15 minutes straight, son. This way before the Jizzle situation. You feel me? So I ain't switch hitting. That's why I took shit so personal back in the G. That's a whole nother story, but uh, you know, my name went to ring at man, and I was running with Kizzle. That was my little bro, so you know, Jizzle started Chopper City Records and he was pushing our king. And I remember that Blues Brothers, y'all remember that Blues Brothers disc they dropped. You heard me? They put me on that round here. That was the first song I ever did with Jizzle. You know, man, I came at Boo song. That was the first one I did with BG. You feel me? That round here. So, you know, Jizzle went to hand and I was busting this in the street on the block with the ciphers and all that. So, you know, he started Chopper City Records. I came was going to be the first artist after him. And, he, and, you know, we had a bond already. So he was just like, man, look, what's up? You want to do the do the do? I'm like, woo do the woo. You did, let's go. And it's been up six. Been up ever since. It was me, I came in Jizzle. Out the gate. So out the was, gate, day one. So out the gate, day one. So how did that transition into Chopper City growing into an actual brand? Um, you know, Chopper City was the brand through BG. You know, he kept playing Chopper City and everything. And dude, that was his first CD. But well, second CD after True Stories. That Chopper City, you know, that was his baby. So, you know, he carried that. Started Chopper City Records. And, uh, you know, we just... Added water to the seas, man. And we just, it was man I came, so at first it was just gonna be me and him as two solo artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Everything was cool, you know, we double XL and everything, you know, magazines, interviews, everything, man. He feeling it. You hear me? Shout out to Wendy D, Vanessa, and them. He feeling it, so, you know, and Snipe came through the door. Mm -hmm. Boom. Now we were gonna sell Snipe as a artist for the females. You know what I mean? But, you know, things transpired into a whole nother situation and formed Chopper City Boys, so we went from there. Mm -hmm. So the Chopper City Boys, so after that form, how did that develop you as an artist, you know? And how did you start connecting with other people outside of New Orleans, like the Lil Boosters and whatnot? I remember, I remember my first feature was with the Yin Yang Twins. Like, artists outside of New Orleans. My first one was the Yin Yang Twins on a song called Twerk a Little. 
me and BG, man, it was all on the radio, man. I got uh, I got checks for that song, man. So I love that song. I'm, I'm always remember that song. Shout out to the Yin Yang Twin. You hear me? But um. <coughs> What you have me? What you did? That's why I was getting into the booth and meeting other artists. Oh. And how BC, BG, oh, being mean, with BG helped you transition into I mean, working on, with other artists. <clears throat> like, I always was gifted, bro. I always had a way with words. I thought quick. You know, learn fast and paid attention. So, you know, I got in there and then coming up on the jizzle with it. And I came with a little animal, too. I came with a pit, boy. But, you know, coming up under them, too, like, in that rap, and you know, I'm like, ooh, ooh. Got to get right, you know, sharp, right. you know, still sharp and still, you know, we went to walk yeah. for years, like, they used to lock us in hotel rooms, man, flies way to Detroit, bro, and leave us in hotel for three weeks with number of beats and food and, and just, just rap, like, yeah, bro, like, for real, so, yeah, you know, coming up under them, man, that slim, you know, and me, I did a song with all the big dogs from the world. Everybody except Wayne and uh, Mr. Co, I would say, and Free Mac. I ain't touch Fiend either, but everybody else, like C. Murder, Juvie, Slim, you know, all them bro, BG, like everybody. I didn't, I didn't got in the ring and wrestled with everybody, and they know. Like, you know, I can hold my own. 